That's right. Our president was, in his own words, sandbagged yesterday. But what we didn't know yesterday, and we now know today, is that the president, as you're seeing there in this video, also hit his head coming out of Marine One. And this was after that tumble on the stage at the Air Force Academy commencement. So Joe Biden falls once again, this time placing blame on a sandbag that was right in front of him the whole time. The president of the United States, the leader of the free world, the man who holds the highest office in the land, Joe Biden fell again and tells the cameras, mind you, after bumping his head, walking out of Marine One, that he got sandbagged. Except here's the thing. I think so many Americans are feeling that way today and every day, and justifiably so. The America that was handed to President Joe Biden is no longer the same America. This week, the Washington, D.C. swamp politicians passed a bill that's bad for America, one that could only pass, of course, under President Joe Biden, one that never would have passed under his predecessor. And last night, the Senate sealed the deal. Republicans and Democrats joined forces to compound our economic pains. The Republican House Speaker made a bad deal, according to some, with our feeble president, handing him even more power to spend money that America just doesn't have, making us even more vulnerable to the CCP every single day. There's no doubt about it. This is not the America that was handed to President Joe Biden. Apparently, this is no longer a country where being a proud American is even allowed. Imagine this ever happening in Donald Trump's America, a children's choir singing the national anthem in Statuary Hall interrupted by Capitol Police. Why? Because it might offend someone. This is Joe Biden's America, an America where children can no longer even sing the national anthem because somebody might be offended. What kind of America is this that you can no longer show pride in your national anthem or your national flag without possibly offending someone? Why are they so offended by American ideals? Why are they trying so hard to do away with everything our country has always stood for? But it seems the left would far rather hang the pride flag than the American flag. There were some glimmers of hope this week that sanity may yet reign. Many Americans are showing that they're not happy about corporations going woke, and those companies are now feeling the pain and the backlash. And that's because we're tired of having an agenda thrown in our faces, confusing our children. Hopefully, these woke companies will understand that appeasing less than 1% of the population is not as important as appealing to the majority of their consumer base. And yesterday, the Senate voted to overturn Joe Biden's $400 billion student loan write-off. You know, the one that he implemented unconstitutionally, remember that? Yet another Biden handout that you and I have to pay for in order for him to secure more votes. But the fact remains, an America under President Joe Biden is a largely scary place for anyone with common sense and for anyone who actually still loves this country and all we represent. They're still spending without abandon. They're forcing frightening woke ideology and indoctrination of children throughout our cities. And our president can't even take a few steps without falling down so symbolic, by the way, of this man's entire presidency. As campaigning for the presidential race heats up, I can't help but think, as are so many like-minded patriots, that 2024 really can't come soon enough.